Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, okay. I guess. Good, good. I'm having some trouble with the audio. Just give me one second. Hello? Sorry for Friday. Oh, couldn't you make it? Right? You couldn't make it. Uh, yeah, I I had trouble, but I do I I do the uh, yeah the homework and the midterm time. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was checking the uh the grading book, and yes, I can see some of you completed it. And allow me to see you over here, Megan. Yes, you did. Yeah, thank you very much for your responsibility, Michael. Miguel, I'm Thanks. sorry. <laughs> no problem. I think I did something. Uh, okay, okay. I'm having some tra some trouble with my my audio. Just give me one moment. I need to adjust this thing up. I don't know. Hello. Hello. Okay, great. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. It was that it wasn't. Uh, it was not accepting the audio. I mean, the headphones. Mm -hmm. And now it reset. Can you hear me? Good. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Now I can. Okay. Now I can. Before I couldn't. No. Well, I could barely hear you. Mm -hmm. But now I can. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, people, welcome everybody. Welcome. Carlos Ernesto. He was the first one today, right? Carlos Ernesto and then Jose Miguel. And now we have Elias. Welcome, guys. You're really responsible. I appreciate that. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I hope everybody is okay tonight. Elias, I was checking your your grading and I see maybe you didn't complete the section two, right? Let me just see. Yeah. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Wilbur, welcome. How are you doing tonight? Well, I can say I'm back. All right, you're back. Great. I'm happy to have you here again. Okay, I have to. I, I I'm happy to have you back here. Yes. Okay. I was doing. I was. I, I was doing my my homeworks, but uh, I don't understand one sentences and another, and the you did want two. Uh, I have problem with two sentences. All right, maybe they are those that we said they've got a little, let's say, mistake in the platform, even though it is not really a mistake, it's that it was a different word. And uh, I don't know if, uh, I mean, what number of homework is it? Uh, actually, I don't remember, but I think it's the homework uh, number four. Okay, so it will be two uh, section two, right? Yes, Se yes. Section two. two, and it was 2.12, if I'm not wrong. Okay. Was it about... Um, Enough? Yes, yes, it's enough. Okay. 2.8, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 
to point 11. The first part is about some concepts, right? If th those were bad or good strategies. And then we have uh, to complete sentences using the information in parentheses, and you had to um, add the word enough in the correct uh, position, right? Um, Wilbert, we solved this with Carlos Ernesto and also with Jose Miguel last night. Um, I mean, with Jose Miguel, we did it in one video conference. You may go to the session one-on-one uh, -on -one, and then the other, uh, the next time we did it with Carlos Ernesto. And what we day was that? solved it. Mm, it was on Friday, the last one, if I'm not wrong. And my session was uh, Thursday. Okay, Thursday, Thursday and okay. Thursday and Friday. But actually, the the thing here is that you have to conjugate the verb. Remember that you have to conjugate the verb because it's an affirmative sentence. I will show you how in the first one, so you are going to get the idea. Um, this is the mm, the homework, right? It says complete the sentences using is this is it this one it is okay then it says we need to complete what is missing and the information is right here so it says the place the strategy remember verb and i'm sorry subject verb and complement so we're going to start with the subject is the place the strategy ah place the strategy is only one thing so it this is it right so we have to conjugate conjugate the verb. What is the verb? Demand. So demand becomes demands, right? So we are going to write the place. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this one was okay? Yes, I had a problem ah, okay. uh, with the sentences too. Yeah, and this one? Yes, yes, that's what it was. And the number four. Yes, this is the one that has a, a problem with a word. It's not enough. I mean, it's not contained over there the word enough. You need to use the word great, okay, instead of enough in this one. It says our products uh, offer, sorry, great features, all right? and benefits then the period this is the way you're going to get it correct correctly so you're going to add great instead of enough okay yes it's the same in the number four um no 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 remember that here we we have to conjugate the verb to the past participle right so the marketing department hasn't created. Mm -hmm. And then we have interest. Here, interest is, um, is not an adjective, okay? It's a noun. And we explain in the last class that, but just a little bit about it, that when we use enough with a noun, we have to say, enough interest instead of um, interest enough because it will be interested enough. Ahí sí sonaría bien porque sería un adjetivo. Pero en este caso es un nombre. In this case, it's a noun. So we have to write this this way. The marketing department hasn't Remember also to check the correct uh, apostrophe there, okay? Hasn't uh, created enough interest, okay? So this is the way, you see? The marketing department hasn't created enough this is the way. Interest, yes, <laughs> and then the period, yes. Remember the period if that is going to get wrong again, yeah. Okay, yes, because enough 
uh, has three ways of the use. Um, we use it with adjectives, we use it with adverbs, I'm sorry, with um, verbs and with nouns. So when we use it with verbs and with adjectives, we say first the adjective or the verb. But when we use it with a noun, we use the noun first, and then it goes, um, I'm sorry, we use enough first and then enough. All right? Are we okay, Wilbe? Ah, number uh, four. Uh -huh. I, 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 I wrote these sentences and, and it made me a, a wrong. Do, do you mind sharing your uh, screen with us? Uh, yes, yes, I, I can share it in the screen. Okay. Maybe it's the apostrophe if I'm not wrong. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. maybe. Mm -hmm. I will stop sharing and now you can do it. This is the, the sentences. Okay. The uh, marketing department. Okay, is the apostrophe if I'm not wrong? Uh, look at, well, I don't know if it's going to um, make a difference if you just copy and paste there. And now, interest. Yes. I, I don't see any other any other mistake. What I may oh it might be is the apostrophe. If if I if I delete the apostrophe and and write the the, the complete has not. I'm not sure it's going to go if may it's I try. going to go well. Yes, you may try. No. no okay then as the apostrophe then so okay. you may if you want you may copy the 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 word right here i mean the word from copy and then uh, paste uh -huh. maybe in the chat, lo va mandar de de. Ah, you want me to send it? All right. Please. Okay. Moment. Is the verb in the past form? Yes, it is. Mm. Yes, he wrote a um, created, right? Uh -huh. Did you, Wilbur? Yes, yes. All right. I can see the post for friend. Still, okay. At the let's... beginning, at mm -hmm. the beginning, maybe in a space. No. Maybe there is in the space, yeah, maybe. Or at the end. No. In that sentence, I had a problem similar. <laughs> yes. Accent created and no interest. Why don't you copy mm, I, and paste it, the word from the sentence uh, number four, the, maybe? In the in the chat, I paste the, the sentence mm. I had in my... Yes, we can okay. see. There you go. I can see. Or compare it. Just okay. copy and paste. Copy and paste. I think will be easier. I you did it. it! We don't know what happened exactly. What? Maybe it was the apostrophe. It's exactly the same. <laughs> I don't know yes. the, where, 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 where was the problem, but thank you, Miguel. Yes. Thank you very much, Miguel. You're welcome. Maybe in a okay. space, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, something, yeah. 
Okay, okay. now you got it, Wilbur. Wilbur. There we go. Yes, thank you. Nice, no problem. Okay, people, we're welcome everybody. I'm seeing Edwin, Eulise, welcome. Welcome, Carlos Alberto, Kevin Alfredo, welcome. Boris, and also Jose Salvador, hello. How are you doing tonight? Nelson, well, he's just a listener tonight. Rafael is just a listener too. All right, but very good. I'm so glad that you are here already and we are going to start the class. Um, do you remember what we were studying um, the last week? Do you remember? Can you comment anything about what we were seeing, we were studying last week? We were talking about the different pronunciation about the O U G H. Oh, the pronunciations. Yes, uh, that's tough. Yeah, that's tough. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's really important for us to identify each word. Remember that no, not all the words are pronounced the same. So we need to make the difference in pronunciation of each word. Who remembers? Aha, who remembers those words? A ver, ¿quién recuerda esas palabras? Las que habíamos dicho en clase. In no... Enough. En, enough. 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 Though. 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 Uh -huh. Though. Though. Yes. Although. Although. Uh huh. Through. Do you remember through? Yeah. Through. Throughout. Throughout. Yes. Uh huh. Thoro, yeah, throw, thoro. Okay, people, yes, that's really important for us to know the difference. And we are not going to master that more than practicing it. So let's go back to the reading if you want. But uh, first of all, mm, I need to introduce the class, all right? I will introduce the class because today we want to learn how to recognize. Well, I'm not going to show you how to recognize it. I'm going to guide you uh, to a discussion or into a discussion where you are going to analyze any product uh, from El Salvador that you know, maybe that you are a consumer of, and you are going to analyze this product uh, according to the place and promotion strategies. We have already mm, make an analysis like um, a simple analysis by observation about the product, uh, the um, price. Then we talk just a little bit about the place and also the promotion. And on Friday, we talk about pricing and product strategies, remember? So today we want to analyze this with the place and promotion strategy. Place and promotion strategies. A ver, ¿por qué es que estamos viendo esto? A ver, ¿por qué hemos llegado hasta las place and promotion strategies? ¿Cuál es el tema principal? What is the main topic of the whole unit two? Marketing. Marketing, yes, marketing. And what is marketing? Marketing is a strategy for the salads, the product. Mm -hmm, exactly, it, it is to create the strategies, okay? to place the right product or to take the right product at the right price, right? Uh, with the right promotion, okay? 
in the place and time, the opportune place and time, we could say that, okay? So we're having these aspects of opportunity. We're having these aspects of strengths. We're having these aspects like um, weaknesses and also um, the threats. Remember those words? The SWOT analysis too, right? That's a part of the business plan. Marketing plan is a part of the business plan. And we are always mixing all these elements to create the best strategies because our main objective is to make profits, right? Sales, incomes, revenues. So we are selling products to make profits. We produce something that fit the needs of a target market profitable okay in a profitably way okay so the topic for today is related to this and to that and we are closing like a cycle here because remember that the product life cycle uh goes from uh, the first tap into the market okay to the last step in the market so that's a product life cycle but when we mix all the elements of the marketing mix we may extend the life of our product in the market or maybe we are going to fight in a pricing war like an a strategy to survive okay in a very intense market in a very fierce um competency um, or, or uh, market or in a saturated market right where everybody are offer is offering the similar products that i produce so this is the main purpose to study uh, the components. Uh, allow me to share with you the slide. Okay. Teacher, before Tell we me. start, uh, the attendance. Thank you very much. I really, I, I really appreciate that. Um, Allow me just to introduce the class and then we are going to call the roll because I need you to tell me some words, okay? So just give me one second. And I will share this and this and this, this way. So there are a lot of products in the market, for sure. There are a lot, but you differentiate the products by quality, by prices, mm, you different. Uh, I mean, make a product different from the others, maybe because it's a high-end product, exclusivity, or the, uh, yeah, and on Friday, your classmate Rafael said durability, the uh, long life of the product too, okay? So it's important that we learn how to identify the features and the a characteristics of a product that make it different from the others, from the competitors, right? But then the pricing has a, a, a place there. Now we are going to talk about the place and promotion strategies. And we have some other components that we want to check, okay? We want to check these components. Components are parts um, that bring to life these strategies, okay? So we're going to recognize the components of the place and promotion strategies of a national product. A national product is going to be your choice. I mean, you will select the product you want to anal analyze, all right? Um, according to the place strategies, promotion strategies, but based on the components we are going to see in the um, manual, okay? That's vocabulary. Remember, this is vocabulary, but also 
expert of understanding the terms, okay? Understanding the terms where these terms are applied. Okay, this is the main part. Okay, then, um, the objective is to analyze, right? Recognizing the components. That's the main um, objective for class 11. We're going to talk about the place and promotion strategies, and then you are going to um, analyze a product during its life. Okay, during its life. Maybe right now, in this very moment, okay, in this very moment, this product doesn't exist anymore in the market and maybe they are trying to relaunch it or maybe you have seen that they are trying to, to introduce this product again to the market. So you are going to say that um, if they corrected the place, if they corrected the way of promoting their product, right? We're going to recognize what place and promotion strategies are first, okay? Okay, people. So we are going to talk about the four P's, right? Four P's of the marketing mix, okay? Así que cuando yo llame su nombre en la lista, usted me va a decir las cuatro P's, okay? You are going to tell the four P's. What are they? I mean, what they mean, each one, okay? Are you guys ready? Remember the requirements from IMSA for is uh, are for, I'm sorry uh, that you turn your camera on and also you have to say present but in this case instead of saying present you will say the four P's of the marketing mix okay what do they stand for what do they stand for you guys ready Before of okay. anything else, um, what day is it today, guys? Today, today is? is today is Monday, May twenty ninth, thousand twenty three. Very good, very good. A ver, alguien más who wants to tell the date? Say the date. What date is it today, Boris? Monday, May 29th, uh, 2023. Very good, very good. Hay palabras implícitas entre May y entre de, el 29th y el 2023. Acordémonos, decimos, today is Monday, May, the 29th of 2023, ¿ok? Porque les estoy pidiendo una forma larga y completa, a modo que su cerebro se acomode a un orden, ¿verdad? Es fácil decir solo May the 29th, ¿verdad? ¿Va que eso es más fácil? No, pero ordenémoslo porque de todas maneras no existe una forma universal para decir la fecha. Pero entonces la teacher les indica que la digan completa para que su cerebro empiece por el no, libro no, primero. No, no, no. Y después lo vamos deformando, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita hagámoslo así ordenadamente. Sería Monday, May, May the 29th that, of 2023. All right? Good. Okay. All right. Ahora van a decir the four P's. What do they stand for? ¿Qué significa cada P? del marketing mix, ¿ok? What do they stand for? Álvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Just in time, Lorena. I was calling your name right now. Yeah. Pre <laughs> <laughs> yes, you've got to say the four P's. What do they stand for? Of the marketing pulso, mix, right? Que, que pulso tiene, teacher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the four P's of the marketing mix. What do they stand for? 
uh, the foreground is a um, product, mm -hmm. a price, promotion, a place, place in promotion. Very good, very good. Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. Uh, place, promotion, product, and place. All right, will be price. 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 Fíjense que esa palabra a todos, bueno, a mí también me sale de esa manera a veces que en la rapidez decimos price, pero es price. Price. Porque price. lo confundimos con place, ¿verdad? Se nos va ahí un poquito. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So, price. Product. Price. Place and promotion. All right. Thank you, Boris. Um, Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present. Product, price, place, promotion. Very good. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Product, price, yeah, place, promotion. Very good. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Um, the first piece are product, price, Promotion and place. Very good. Thank you, Edwin. Elias Neftali Martinez Gonzalez. Eulice Torres Torres. Product, um, price, and promotion and place. Very good. Thank you. Fatima Noemi Umaña Castro. Is she in? No, she isn't, right? Jose Miguel Torres Hernandez. Present teacher. And product, place, price, promotion. Very good. Husman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Product, price, place, promotion. Okay, Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Product, price, place, promotion. Very good, Salvador. Karen Lisset Sanchez Castro. Miss Karen, are you there? Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Product, price, place, and promotion. Excellent. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. Oh, he's just a listener. Okay, Nelson, it's okay. Oh, Rafael too. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. He's just a listener too, right? Santiago Roberto Calderón Avelar. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher, uh, product, price, place, promotion. Very good. Yes, those are the four P's of the marketing mix. Aha. Uh -huh. What do you think about the marketing mix in El Salvador? Have you seen the marketing companies um, do a very good job mixing these elements? What do you think? What do you think about the promotion of products in El Salvador? Two for one. Uh huh. Two for one. Oh, okay, good. Never mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Promotion. And do you think it's a good strategy, the one they use? Or is it a bad strategy? What do you think? Is it productive or isn't not? Uh, it's not productive. It's a. Uh, it's a productive. It's productive. Okay. All right. 
And okay, that's promotion because they are um, doing like a bargain, okay, like a bargain. But when we talk about promotion, we are talking about the communication that you do uh, with your target market. When you communicate to your target market, your purposes, mm, the features of your product, the prices of your product, okay? And also the bargains, okay? The promotions, not exactly, okay. Promotion can be understood by the two things, okay? Uh, when you load the prices, giving like a good deal, right? For the customer, but there is the other promotion that refers to communicate messages, to communicate like with advertisement, or in the social networks, or maybe by the written press, maybe by TV, by the radio, and all other media that you can think about newspaper. where you can send mage messages. Yeah, the newspapers. Ma uh -huh. Magazine, in magazine. Great, uh -huh. great place to promote. Mm -hmm. Not all products are needed to, to be promoted in certain uh, media, right? Because, for example, there are some products that people uh, need it every day. Or, <laughs> yeah, babooses. Uh -huh. Or the things that you need in your house, right? Like your groceries, like oil, like eggs, food, yeah, food elements, food items, like fruit, vegetables, those kind of products. Maybe you are not going to see them in a magazine, right? Because the magazines have a very long period of time in the market too. So they are not going to stay there for 15, for 15 days until the next number appears again, right? So the Mm, use maybe the newspapers that it is daily or maybe by the radio that everybody is listening to the radio and then you can be aware of the offers right or maybe of the bargains or so many other deal that you are promoting like a promotion all right so mm, what do you think in El Salvador well what is said about La Neveria there is one promotion about the prices but ¿Qué piensan ustedes? ¿Que en El Salvador se promueven o hay buen, eh, buena producción publicitaria, digamos, en donde se comunican los mensajes de los productos que acá consumimos? What do you think about the promotion in El Salvador? What do you think about it? In my opinion, uh... Pollo Campero was a good example when they start with, uh, uh, I don't know how they say, fuegos, uh, uh, de los fuegos artificiales. The fireworks. The fireworks of November. It was a promotion about them, but uh, how can I see it? Uh, there's a problem. Uh, what the, is the problem? The main street is closed, and that is okay. Um, I can see it because I'm I'm there, uh, uh, some some years, and I see the 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 people goes goes to another restaurants, <laughs> but no for but not but they don't go. Uh, uh, Pollo uh, Campero. Pollo do you Campero. Uh, okay. Or, uh, okay. That but do a, you uh, think do you think that it's not a uh, worthy to promote that much or that big the um, um, the brand Campero because uh, I mean it's it's not worthy. That's the word. It's not worthy to make that big promotion because they don't get the results that they are expecting for. Is that correct? Maybe it was uh, at the beginning because they started that that uh, the promotion, mm -hmm. but but uh, currently uh, I don't think so. 
Okay, okay. So it has been um, a, having less results. Is that what you mean, right? Yes, moreover, the, the, this last year uh, where uh, happened uh, an accident. An uh, accident. I employed uh, diet. Yes, yes, it was kind of hard. Yes, it was hard. Okay, people, what do you think? Do you have any other idea about a product that you have seen that maybe they have good promotion or bad promotion? Ideas. Uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> there, uh, there is a day when to make a big, big pusa. Oh, yes, the pupusa day, right? The pupusa yeah. day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. And they make a very big pupusa in a very big comal. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Okay. And how do they promote it? What? ¿Cómo lo promocionan? ¿Cómo dan a conocer uh -huh. ese día? Uh -huh. yeah. By TV. I think for for radio. For the radio, uh, okay, by the radio. Television, newspaper. By the newspaper. Uh -huh. Usually they use this other part of the promotion that is called public relations. And maybe you don't promote your product by paying exactly, right? Or giving some money or investing <laughs> money. Uh, How and do you, you say just call the, the journalist. Uh, I'm sorry? Uh, flyers. How do you say flyers. Flyers. Yeah, uh, flyers. I've seen the flyers in lo local. Ah, okay. In the city. In Oloquilta. The city. Okay. All right. Are you from Oloquilta, Carlos Ernest? No. Ah, okay. <laughs> no. Have you seen to that event? What? Have you seen, I mean, have you been to that event? ¿Ha ido a ese evento? Um, no, I, no, I have done. I have. No podido. Okay, I, ah, I okay. I haven't. No, no he ido, right? I haven't. Okay, I'm I, sorry, but this was my earring that I was bothering. Okay. <laughs> but, okay, yeah. They make promotion because they have to send the message that they are doing that event. So that's promotion, okay? Communicate, communication. So allow me to go to the slides just to see some things about this. These are some facts, okay? According to the marketing, um, to the marketing, okay? And we can see that when we talk about promotion, we plan the communication, okay? We plan, because remember that this is everything is strategically um, uh, planned, okay? We cannot give or make any movement in marketing if we don't plan it, if we don't um, set the goals, if we don't uh, trace what the results we need to get are, okay? So we need to put this on paper. This is why to, we make a marketing plan, okay? So when we, um, when we plan the promotion strategies, we are planning the communication okay communication strategies but what are the strategies well we want to sell concepts okay we send messages to our target market okay to our target market remember the four p's are the price the product but the promotion and the place are together Okay, they have to be together. Now, if we think about the promotional strategy, we are going to talk about the personal selling, personal selling. Are you selling these 
in a personal way? Are you customizing your product? Or is a product for everybody? Okay. Or you are sending these um, team sale, I mean, sales team to sell your product person to person. Actually, there are other way to sell the product because we sell also the product not only to the final customer maybe we are the producer right we are the producers i will show you um just a thing to see these what i'm talking about okay, i'm talking about the personal selling uh, but also let's well personal selling. Why personal selling? Aha. Uh -huh. Let me to go right here. Here. So personal selling maybe is from the producer to the consumer. Okay. Personal selling is when you produce something and you give it uh right, you take it right to the hand of the customer, the final one. For example, pupusas, right? Pupusas, the producer is Doña Mercedes, okay? And then La Niña Menchita, she produces it with everything, with all the ingredients, and they give you the pupusas in your hands and you are the final consumer. But what about another way, another way of selling? When we produce and sell to a business, this is... B to B, business to business, right? Business to business. And this business is going to sell the product to the consumer, okay? But then we have another way of distributing our product. That is why promotion and place is related, okay? Because, for example, maybe you are a producer. Then the producer take it, take, the product or um, yeah puts the product in the wholesaler hands right the wholesaler is the person who take all my production and distribute they, they distribute the products or the merchandise to the retailers okay the retailers this one buys in bulk este compra por bulto, ¿verdad? Por cantidad, por producción, por lote, por lo que eh, haya hecho la fábrica, ¿verdad? Because we are the factory, we are the producers, okay? Then maybe we are the wholesalers now, okay? Let's go to the wholesaler's house. And these, that button bulk, it's going to divide and give to another price a different price to the retailer in smaller amounts, okay? In smaller amounts. But this is going to be a price enough to make profits for me as a wholesaler. And also the producer had his uh, profits too when he sold the products to wholesaler. Okay, but the retailer takes the product to the hand of the consumer. So this is what we need to Teacher. see. Tell me. Hey, wholesaler is like a distributor. Yeah, wholesaler son los mayoristas. Yeah, mayoristas. Okay. Mm -hmm. They buy in bulk. Ellos compran así como en, en bulto, yeah. en, pro, en, en granel, digamos. Y luego, incluso, a veces los wholesalers Um, empacan porque tienen permiso de el producer empacan y ponen su branding ¿verdad? su marca entonces um, este le pagó a este para producir muchas veces en muchos casos ¿verdad? Um, y así ¿verdad? luego este wholesaler es el que tiene ahora la marca de este que produjo y luego um, lo vende al minorista, ¿verdad? Minorista. Minorista es el que compra que por cajas, por docenas, por pallets, ¿verdad? Y luego este lo lleva al consumer. 
Este lo lleva al consumidor, to the consumer, who buys one, two, three, or maybe a dozen, right? But he doesn't resell the product. The, uh, this person consumes the product, okay? Consumes the product. So this is the difference, right? This is the difference. This is why we need a place and promotion strategy well planned, okay? Primero hay que definir cómo vendo yo mi producto, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde está mi producto? Am I a producer? And the producer is going to sell directly the product? Okay. Am I a producer? Okay, yes, I am a producer. But I'm going to sell directly to the retailer. Okay. I will sell directly to the retailer. And the retailer is going to sell to the consumer. I, I'm going just to need some stores or some distributors, right? But here in this other model, we are going to see a different way. And I, as a producer, need a promotion for the wholesalers. And then the wholesaler needs a promotion strategy for the retailers. And then the retailers need a promotion for the consumers, right? So this is the way this marketing mix move all the process of the production of a product. This is why I mixed also uh, the SWOT analysis, the um, a product life cycle, okay? But also the product development process, right? So this is why marketing involves everything and this goes into the business plan, all right? This goes in, into the business plan. So let's go back to the play. I'm sorry, we were in the promotion strategy. I'm sorry. It is to plan communication strategies. So let's see. <clears throat> we were in personal selling and we saw the way of selling our products. Then the branding, as I was saying with the wholesaler, right? Branding, branding, uh, social media. Social media are the channels where I'm going to send the messages for of awareness or creating interest in the target market, okay? information, awareness, create interest. Those are the main goals of the promotion strategies, okay? Then I can use websites as a channel of information to show who we are, to show who, I mean, what we produce, what we are selling, who are we selling to, who is this product available to or available for? And also the features of my product because that's what it sells, right? If you don't promote the features of your product, then you are not promoting anything. We are not promoting only businesses. For example, look, there is an example with these cosmetic enterprises, right? We have, for example, Avon, Oriflame, we have Essica, eh, I can't say any other, maybe. There was one, uh, I don't know if it is still in the market, in the Salvador market, Marlene Namur, right? Eh, Evel or Level, right? They have a channel of distribution. What's the channel of distribution? Ah, that's personal selling, right? Because they sell through catalogs. They th uh, sell through catalogs. But they use the macro marketing, okay, as the brand, okay, as the brand, not the promoters, not the, the sellers, but the brand. So when I go as a seller to visit or to show my product to the final consumer, they know the brand. Okay. Eh, se va adelante de que el consumidor tenga en sus manos la oportunidad de obtenerlo, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque lo estoy vendiendo personal, lo estoy vendiendo a través de un catálogo. I'm selling through a catalog. Entonces, the place is maybe not for the final consumer, but for the distributors or to the retailers. Okay. But look. This is very interesting because there we have promotion and we have place together 
in the same person, right? In the same person, she is going from the warehouses or the business center to the, the final consumer. But also we there you can find the promotion things, right? What do you think about these kind of uh, products or these kind of businesses? A ver, de los cosméticos. Platiquemos un poquito analizándolo con la promotion strategy. A ver, ¿qué me pueden decir ustedes así de lo que ustedes conocen? Teacher. For example, uh, the that the 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 business use the the personal selling for the catalog because the the person offer the the promotion or uh, other person this uh, uh buy the the pro the different product and the personal selling report the company this the uh delivery the product in the personal selling pays the, 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 the buy the product at the company. E, uh, and, I'm sorry, um, uh, there's this seller, this buy, the buy, the, yeah, the, the, the buy, this a commission or yes, commission for the, for the, buy, for the sales. E, this is los, the, this is the increase, the personal selling. We cannot hear you, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, you're right. It's very, um, let's say, simple, but very elaborated system, right? Because they produce a catalog where they promote their products and they sell by, I mean, they are sold by themselves. We could say that. And also, yes, it's about the 25 or 30% as a margin of profit for the seller or they say distributor, but actually it's a personal selling. And uh, that's the income. Yeah, that's the income of these people. But the promotion is in general, okay? The promotion is uh, for the brand itself, okay? It's not for the sellers. Maybe they are going to create some time these uh, promotional um, messages for they to become a part of the company to do the same uh, sales activity that the distributor who takes you the product to your hand um, as an invitation, right? As an invitation to become a part of the sales team. So they have two different uh, uh, promotion, we could say, promotion strategy, but it's closed. The circle is closed, okay? Um, it's, uh, they produce, they promote, okay? They a state the prices, they state the offers, and then they state the way you as um distributor is going to distribute the product, right? Or you are going to offer the product product under their rules. Right. So this is interesting and it's a closed Circle, es un círculo cerrado, okay? Where everybody wins. That's what they say. Everybody wins. But, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Now, the brochures and newsletters, direct marketing, special events are um, a part of the advertisement, okay? Advertisement. The direct marketing is publicity okay it's advertisement advertising and it's where the consumer is going to see exactly what you are offering and and how much you are asking for it okay 
how much uh, you are expecting they pay for it. How or where can they um where can they get the product? So let's talk about the place the strategies, guys. Uh, in general, in general, the place strategies. Mm -hmm. What's the best place to sell paper? What's the best place to sell paper? ¿Cuál sería el mejor lugar para vender papel? Supermarket. At the supermarket, okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces, digamos, the best places, right? Because there are other. Well, okay. What kind of paper? Yeah, good question. With a good question. There we are talking about product, features of the product, right? Describe the product we want to sell. For example, let's say bond paper. In White bond library. paper. In a library, yes. And where can I place a library? What what place will be strategically a planned? to make more profits? Maybe near uh, an, a university or a school. All right, that's a very good idea, right? Yeah, we're going to plan the best place where my company can set or can uh, establish the business center or where I can make available my product to the target market, okay? So let's read this. It is, uh, when we uh, plan our place strategies, it is to plan strategically the location where the company sells its product, making it easily available for the target market, okay? Do you want to give an example about these? Do you have an example right now in your minds? ¿Alguien tiene algún ejemplo ahorita que se les venga a su mente? Uh, maybe with the cosmetic, uh, mm -hmm. they make um, a special edition uh, according to the season for their mothers, for their fathers, Christmas, and whatever. All right, that's good. That's good. But when we talk about the place, we are talking about the location. What's the best location for a kind of product? For example, let's think. Have you seen Frozen, the movie Frozen? ¿Han visto la película de Frozen? Los que tienen niñas, los que tienen hijas. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. Yes. Have you seen uh, when... Um, bueno, Sven se llama quién? El, el, el deer o el, o el muchacho. ¿Cómo se llama el muchacho de Ana? Christoph. Ah, yeah. Christoph. Yeah. Christoph. Um, what's his what does he do what does he do he sells the ice, he sells the ice. 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 <laughs> uh -huh. he sells ice okay and there is a scene right there hay una escena en donde llega Ana a la, a la cabaña de, de aquel um, muchacho, ¿verdad? Que vende productos y ella quiere algo más abrigado, ¿verdad? Ella quiere subir a la montaña y está buscando ese tipo de, de herramientas y de elementos. Uh -huh. Bien, pero ahí en ese momento le dice, imagine if you have problems, right? I sell eyes, le dice, ¿verdad? Y obviamente estaba todo congelado. Sería el mejor momento or the best place to sell the eyes or the could he do his best in the promotion of that product? What do you think? No. Uh -huh. no. Why not? It's, it's, a, it's very cool. Exactly. Everything the, was frozen. The, the, the better moment is a 
uh, water where where oh what warm water warm, warm. 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 Oh, okay, yeah. That will be the best product to sell, right? Everybody will need warm today, water. <laughs> today, for, for example. Today, for example. Today. Uh-huh. But today we need cold water. <laughs> yes. I I I need a Chris a, a, a ice cream. You need Christoph here selling the ice. Uh-huh. Yes. Exactly. You're right. It was not the best place, right, to offer the eyes because there were a lot of eyes over there and maybe nobody else needed it. Nobody wanted that product. So even if he were offering the, the eyes to a very low price, nobody would buy this ice, okay, because there was eyes everywhere all right so now let's think about the place strategies place strategies uh someone right now said here is the best place and now is the, the best place to sell the eyes why because of the heat right because el salvador is hot now okay Let's think about another product. Let's think about another product. What do you think about the uh, handicraft from Ilovasco? Okay, from Ilovasco. If we think about the place strategy and promotion strategy, have you seen any promotion about Ilovasco handicraft? How do we know that handicraft from Ilovasco are so well made? How do we know that? ¿Cómo nos hemos dado cuenta entonces que en Hilo Vasco están las mejores artesanías del barro, verdad? O están las mejores artesanías y que Hilo Vasco es un lugar famoso por sus artesanías. How do we know that? One, the communication, the person to person. Person to person. person. Person to person. Uh, second, uh, sellers in front of the store and a table that they put uh, a little toys mm -hmm. uh, a la vista uh, okay. the people. To the site. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. other, other way is in TV. My TV? For example, uh, for example, in the news, uh, some, uh, some hey, program, TV shows, uh -huh. like El Noticiero, or like mm -hmm. uh, Noticias Patricia, mm -hmm. uh, have a uh, little segment, little mm -hmm. part, uh, where they promotion, promote that kind of, of, of places. Okay, places, mm -hmm. and the place becomes a concept, right? The place becomes a concept too. Maybe the um, a gov the local governments are making this kind of promotion too, like the tourism um, institute in El Salvador is in charge of promoting these places too. Uh huh. But what is the best place to buy a um, yuca frita, yuca salcochada aquí en San Salvador, here in San Salvador. What is the best place? San Salvador. Uh -huh. In San Salvador. There is a, um, a city in San Salvador where everybody say that's the best yuca. I heard uh, it was, I don't know, uh, uh, currently uh, Mexicanos. Yes, that's what I heard too. That's what I have heard too. I have never been to buy yuca over there, but I know that they sell good yuca. And what about in Santa Tecla? Do you know a place yeah. where you can buy yuca? The better yuca is in Misalco. 
Is yeah, that... I hear that. Okay. I don't remember the name, but is a next to Funerales Cuscatlán. In Santa Tecla? Yes. It's right in front of a tamaleria. I don't remember the name of the, <laughs> the tamaleria. I don't know if you know the place. Uh huh. Yeah. But yes, it's nearby. It's nearby from Huayua or something it says over there in Santa Tecla. Uh, there's a place where you come from Santa Ana to San Salvador. Uh, uh, from Congo, I don't know where is the Texaco oil. Uh -huh. There, straight down, there is a uh, there is two uh, two woman woman sailing yuca. Uh, um, they they sailing up in a in a plate uh, mixed yuca, uh -huh, fried yuca okay. and pepescas. Uh huh. Uh huh. Pepesca, whatever you want. It's good. With fritada, chicharrones, yes, okay, yes. yeah, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There is another place where they say good chicharrones. Where can you buy good chicharrones? Uh, on the street. The, the restaurant, the restaurant, free, free beep. <laughs> Actually, yes, that's the a very good place too. But Carlos Ernesto said on the street and what street? Uh, on the street, um, kilometer five to Acajutla. Near, near kilometer. Oh, but uh, that's El Hobo. Is, it's forward. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, uh, okay, okay. It's it's near. Um, La geotérmica, creo. Oh, okay. Duke, Duke Energy. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I have never seen it, but well, maybe I have. Maybe I have seen it. Uh, well, let's think about the dairy products in El Salvador. Where, where can we find the best dairy products? Dairy products. A ver, lácteos, dairy products. Is there a place in El Salvador known? or renowned by dairy products? Is there a brand in El Salvador? Dairy products, cream, okay, dairy cream, requesón, that's uh, cottage. de metapan. Cheese. Oh, that's a very good place. And it's from Metapan. Yeah, Metapan is a place known by the dairy products. Yes, that's right. Uh-huh, Metapan. And also, uh, the, well, San Julian, right? San Julian. That's why there is a brand that it's under that name too. Yeah. And from Sonsonate, they have La Salud, right? Yeah. La Salud, they started by producing just the milk and then they diversified all the products they have. In San Julian, teacher, uh, there is no uh, a brand, uh, just what I know, but uh -huh. uh, when you come into the San city? Julian city, uh -huh. uh, you see uh, uh, the Central Park. Uh -huh. in, the, in, the, in the Central Park, you see a... Uh, in una tienda chalet, no sé cómo le podemos decir. A store. Ah, you see a store in the Central Park. They sell a, a shake milk. Milkshake. Uh, but the milkshake by the by the milk, it is not a brand because uh, the milk becomes uh, direct to the cow. Oh, really? Seriously? Nice. Nice I to recommend. know. I recommend co-workers, uh, right. classmates. Okay, nice, nice. Hey, everybody, let's go to San Julian tomorrow. No, this weekend. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Well, and then we can think about the product they produce in every place. And then you're going to say, what's the best place to buy so-and-so? 
right? What's the best the best place to do something something? For example, uh, uh between the banks, right? Between the banks, what's the best bank to transfer uh big amounts of money in El Salvador? I think uh, America Central for me. Okay, the, okay, the Central America Bank. Yes. Mm, okay. What do you think, guys? Is that the best place for you? What do you think? Now, what is the best place to get a cell phone? Kiosk? <laughs> Kiosk? Person to person? Personal selling? Or uh, the big companies? Other big companies, teach. Why? Can you explain? It's more explain to me. Confiable. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. when, I, when I buy a phone with person to person, maybe the cell phone is with problem or defects. Uh huh. Or some some defect defect. Okay, failures. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So it's not so trustable, right? It's not so trustable to buy a person to in a person to person selling uh this kind of products, this kind of devices. Have you seen these guys uh that are selling cables and chargers and these little devices like the um, a, I don't know the name of this one, pero es que es para contestar la, la llamada. Y, pero solo, no, I, 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 the free hands, free hands, uh -huh, los manos libres. And they are selling those kind of things in the bus, on the bus, or maybe on the street. What do you think about these products? Is that the best place to, di to distribute these kind of products? Have you ever had any experience buying those kind of products on the street? I mean, the cables, chargers, or the earphones, the cheapest ones. Have you ever had any experience about it? No? Usualmente le llaman ripio ¿eh? a ese tipo de producto. Lo que ya no venden las compañías grandes, ya se las pasan a ellos y ya las andan en los buses. <laughs> That's why they call it ripio, because it's just like uh, occupying the place in, in, the, in the warehouses, right? Okay, people, let's continue then and let's read these. Uh -huh. This is the promotion strategies, let's say, concept or perception, okay? It is creating a channel for conversation with the target market. Okay, this is promotion strategy. Through promotion, the company aims to attract the customer's attention and give them enough information about the product to foster interest and motivate them to purchase. Okay, the amount of a commodity product or service available in the desire of buyers for it consider as factors regulating its price is called the law of supply and demand. The law of supply and demand. 
but it is related to the product and price, okay? Product and price. And here we are talking about the promotion, promotion strategies. But also we are, um, let's say, mixing, yeah, the promotion strategies uh, to the purpose to purchase, right? We want to move the consumer to purchase. That's the main purpose. It says aims. Aims is como tiene el objetivo de, right? Aims to attract the customer's attention. All right. Now, guys, let's go to the um, manual. And let's go back just a little bit, okay? And we want to make these a uh, matching exercise, okay? Let's associate the meaning with the terminology, okay? Page 20, let's go to page 20. This is our building vocabulary. We want to match the words or expressions to their meaning. Okay, me voy a poner en silencio. I will mute myself and you are going to do it all together. Pero necesito que todos participen, ¿sí? Necesito escucharlos a todos comentando cuál es cuál. Y yo, de acuerdo a lo que ustedes digan, voy a ir poniendo los números. Sí, vaya, vamos. Yo voy a dejar la ropa. The process of creating an imagine of the, a product in the means of the consumer. Um, a brand definition number two that use the name, team, symbol, or design to give a product a unique identity in the marketplace. This is number three in definition number two. Um, yeah. yeah. Brand. Teacher, number teacher, five, uh, yeah, number three, definition number two, yeah. The sentence. Maybe. The picture is characteristic of a product that describes its appearance, components, and capabilities. Is for features. The, the 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 process the the process of creating an image of the product in the means of the consumer is a number five product position positioning yes uh, okay the, the, the process is a and five, number five. You share uh, the help and information that is provided to customers after they have bought a particular product, maybe number two, after sales services. Hmm. Well, product product design is to create a new product. 
to be sold by a business to its customers. Exactly. Now I think it is easier to associate when we are reading the term, okay, when we see the definition. So now we are going to um, do this, right? This is just a way to think. Now you are going to tell me what or how can we define product design? Do you remember? Product design. Mm -hmm. uh, it's when you create a new product. Exactly, and you oh, are... I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's good, that's good. I will open this for you to see the complete definition. It says, to create a new product to be sold by a business to its customer. All right. So now let's think it's about. Sure. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> sorry. I had a, a question about oh. the uh, that sentence, or that description. Uh -huh. uh, when when it finish to X customers, uh, why X? Why the why the word X? Uh, it it would be uh there mm -hmm. customers okay because it's referring to the belonging i mean the customers are belonging to this business and the business is the owner right the owner of the customer so to its customers um they be these customers belong to this business right it's a possessive one. Indicate possession. Okay? Kind of. Kind of. Okay. Uh, for example, if you say um, sold by Wilber, okay? Cambiemos business y pongamos uh, sold by Wilber to his customers, right? a sus eh, consumidores, yeah? Okay, Porque es his, all right? Now this is from business. That is why we use it. Got it. Thank okay. you. Okay, there you go. Now let's do it again. Now let's think about the features. Can you define features? Exactly, the characteristics of the product. But what are the characteristics of a product? What are the features of a product? What do they describe? The color, size, um, Compliment. maybe taste, Ability. flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. the components, the flavor, the tastes. Ingredients. Ingredients, yes. Ingredients. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if we uh, group all these characteristics in, um, let's say we group them in, what will be this? If we make groups, right, of these characteristics, then we are going to have like a division of items like appearance, components, and capabilities. There is what we are saying, the functionality, right, or the function will be with the capabilities. Uh, also, the capabilities are the, uh, what our product does, right? What our product does. Uh, for example, if it is electrical or those kind of elements to make this product uh, by uh, manual or analog or electronic or electrical, 
it means that it, it's going to take some things added, right? Like a motor, right? A motor, or maybe it's going to take, I don't know, a, this quartz and buttons, botones. So those parts are components, components. And some things like a coffee maker, for example, it has the jar too, tiene la jarra, okay? It's a part or it's a component of my uh, final product or my, com my complete product. So appearance, if it is big, if it is small, if it is white, black, or maybe it is compact or it is non-compact, okay? Uh, it's It comes, um, let's say this, that you um, fit all the parts together by yourself or maybe I sell it well armed, right? Uh, uh, from the beginning of from factory, it's easier for us to sell it in parts or uh, than selling it already built, right? So those kind of elements, those kind of components uh, and characteristics are precisely the features, okay? The features. Now, let's think about the product positioning. What do you think about the product positioning? How can we define that in words? Mm -hmm. the, the process of driving in the the image in, in, in the main the customer exactly you create you create a concept a brand okay for example if we say lovable a uh, lovable okay then it is um a underwear okay uh, then we're going to say that we know that lovable it's a um, a product of quality, okay? Then if we think about, I can say like, uh, Fruit of the Loom, for example, Fruit of the Loom is another brand that we know that they make, uh, that they also produce underwear. And if we compare, we're gonna say, well, they're mm, two different brands, but I, I'd rather buy this one than the other okay so this is what brand means the name of the product under a commercial um, name okay a commercial name that becomes a concept becomes a concept okay for example if you, if you um think about one product you think about the brand you prefer Okay, so this is what brand uh, is related to when we talk about place, promotion, and product strategies. Okay, also with the pricing, also with the pricing strategies. Okay, porque hay marcas que ustedes dicen, ah, pero Caterpillar, ah, sí, pues ya estamos hablando de John Deere, ah, estamos hablando de eh, marcas, oh que valen mucho, ¿verdad? The value is added. You have an image of the product because of the brand, okay? Okay, people. So now let's continue to the next part in our manuals because in our manuals we have down there uh, an exercise. This exercise is that you have to... Um, match the question according to the answer okay you are going to label the examples of elements found in the product strategy using the questions from the box let's go to page 21 activity number seven okay page number one activity number seven i don't know why i am so slow when i want to share Okay, yeah, so here it is, activity number seven. Okay, 
Here we are. Vaya, hagamos exactamente lo mismo que yo me voy a poner en silencio. I'm going to mute myself. Y ustedes van a eh, relacionar la pregunta de acuerdo a la respuesta y vamos a ver pues si de qué están hablando, ¿verdad? Cada uno de estos componentes de la estrategia del producto, ¿ok? Estrategia del producto. Acordémonos, hemos visto pricing strategies la semana pasada, product strategy. Ahorita estábamos viendo place y estábamos viendo promotion strategy. Ahorita estamos haciendo examen, examen, perdón. Estamos haciendo práctica de cómo platicamos o qué es lo que se pregunta, qué es lo que queremos saber, qué elementos intervienen en una product strategy para crear esas eh, líneas de acción, ¿verdad? Ok, bien, vamos a ver entonces. Me voy a poner en silencio. José Miguel está en computadora. Oh, Ana Lorena también. Yes, yes, ok, bien, entonces Ana Lorena hace 1, 2 y José Miguel hace 3 al 5, ¿sí? Vaya, sí, vamos Miguel ya hizo la 1. Sí, ya uh... contesté la 1. No, la tiene que escribir acá. Oh. Sí, no, no. hombre. Ey, ustedes. No, vale, me voy a poner en silencio. I will mute myself. Ok. Estimado. Pero participen todos, pues. Esto empieza con la una y la dos. I believe that the phrase is uh, what are you selling? Because uh, in the phrase uh, answer, describe the product. Okay. 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 The second, our customer are young young Americans who wants it to. The number two, I think, is who are the selling? Who are? Because yes. the phrase describes some kind yes. of people. Uh, if you want, uh, read the question. Is the, who are you selling to here? Yeah. How will you do the, the product? The product will be the data and the link of it. We need to read this material. We need to read it. How will you do it? The number three, I think. Three is what value do you provide your customers? Because this is where. Add value. Do you provide? Yes. Okay. And only, only have one. How? You your product. Oh, 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 Somebody thinks another opinion about our Yo va a decir los nombres de todos para que participaran y yo estaba <laughs> bien. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Rafael, Hosman, Edwin, Salvador, what do you think about it? Eulise?
Boris, Carlos Ernesto. Uh, we cannot hear you, Boris. Uh, there is a problem with your audio. I think that that is correct, teacher. Okay, Kevin, thank you. Is there any comment you want to add, everybody? Anybody? Any comment? No? Okay, then we're going to take 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes just to analyze a product in the market, okay? We are going to talk about one product. We have mentioned a lot right now. Hasta este momento hemos mencionado una infinidad de productos acá. Escojan alguno de los que hemos hablado y en cinco minutitos, dos cosas. Si tiene good promotion como una good strategy o si tiene bad promotion, okay? Y definen cuál es la promoción que ustedes miran que tiene. Cómo lo hacen. How do they do that? Maybe by TV. Have you seen any promotional uh, messages from this product anywhere? Y la segunda cosa es que si está ubicado o está uh, disponible fácilmente en un lugar específico o en diferentes lugares, ustedes describen, ¿ok? Solamente cinco minutitos para que platiquemos acerca de eso y lo venimos a decir acá, ¿ok? Vamos. Please, everybody, join your room. Carlos Alberto, please join your room. Nelson, go to your room. Maybe it's going to see um, a helpful for voy you, a... okay? Teacher, voy a intentar porque me, me dio problema para ingresar, pero voy a intentar nuevamente. Oh, okay, please, please, Carlos, do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jose Salvador, I don't know if you have two devices. Oh, yes, I think so. Please join your room, Karen, and Hosman too. Elias, please join your room. Mr. Don? Mm -hmm. Place and promotion. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yes, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. And place. Place. What do you think about the promotion? Uh, Kevin, uh -huh. the teacher said uh, the correction for donuts yes. from, okay. from Mr. Donut. Donut from. Without S. Um.
is the strategy is a for moment or for tiempo. No sé cómo. Mr. Donald has... Limit time. Limit time. Por tiempo limitado. For one month. Mr. Donald has a... A good promotion about Mr. Donald's... In, it's a promotion in, in the in the TV in September. Mm -hmm. Limited edition. Okay. Um, Rafael. No. Uh, give me a good idea about uh, about the promotion of the Mr. Donna. Well, the the promotion is a uh, uh, two donuts uh, for the price of one in uh, September. In a in September. Uh, so, uh, in marketing is 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 it's easy. Okay. Is is it? <laughs> ah, very good. <laughs> it's easy to explain. They they don't need a lot of explanation. It, they have a brand recognition in all the country. They have a lot of publicity in TV. In the, in, in, for example, the stadium in the beach. When you go to the beach in the on the road on the way, you saw a lot of publicity in movies and other things. In the in the radio too, they have a lot of publicity. Everybody in the country, drink or not to drink beer, they know the the brand. Yeah, drinker or not drinker, drinker or not drinker. Yes. <laughs> okay. So for that reason, we choose that product. Oh, um, good. The, the unique uh, bad thing about the product is uh, some también lo, lo, lo de la yeah. um, the people wait for this month lo voy a decir ahorita sí, vemos después cómo se puede poner. Este, okay. por ejemplo, no sé si a ustedes les ha pasado que van en la calle, pero de lejos se mira la, el gran rótulo que está arriba de cada, de cada este, almacén, de cada restaurante. Okay. Y entonces solo ver eso te dan ganas de ir a comprar. Como... Bill Bors, dice aquí que se dice la valla publicitaria. ¿Cómo se escribe? Communicate. Comunicate. ¿Oral qué? Comunicar. Comunicar. Advertising in the street, on TV. The newspaper. Uh, where? In social, social media. Newspaper. The radio. Mm -hmm. Social media, Facebook. The promotion is very completely. <laughs> Radio, remix, mm -hmm. um, the newspaper. Yeah. I, I, I don't buy new newspaper. Y en la website también hay. Um, new, no sé. Newspaper. 
they have a uh, no have the they a new uh, website. No sé yo. No ni yo lo que preguntaba porque no nunca lo he visto por la por la por internet. Ajá, no sé si tendrán. Ah, ahí puso la teacher communicate, creo que doble M. Ajá. También algo de for one promotion. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Ya no vemos la pantalla. Sí. Okay. También tienen mala publicidad, nunca le han visto mala publicidad al Mr. Donald. Hello. Hello, hello. Eh, Kevin, maybe eh, uh -huh. eh, add eh, the teacher send um, to the chat the promotion is those two for one promotion. Maybe eh, eh, read the this at the beginning of the text. Promo. Lo que pasa es que no hemos dicho en ningún lado cuál es la promoción. <risa> ah, sí. Oh, yes. The promotion is communicated on. Sería ahí después de month, tal vez. Ajá, ajá. Porque ahí se, habla, ahí se habla de la promoción. O, o, o antes de los dos puntos también. Antes de los dos. Ajá. Ajá, promotion. ¿Sí? Ajá. Two. Two. Two for one. Two for one. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, bueno, place. What do you think about the place? Is the ubication. I live well, in Santa well, Ana and, well. and Mr. Donuts have a good a good place. Uh, en la Gran Vía también. De, el París. Gran Vía, San Miguelito. Oh, podemos, uh, we can put uh, many places. In in the country. Uh huh. In the first, uh... first, um, Mister Donuts are of many many place. In are are in many place. De que está en. Mister Donuts have. Are 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 are. No have because are in many place. Are in many places. Yo siempre me confundo en el link o en el lat, así que. <laughs> yes, uh, the other. Um...
Okay, dear class, now we are going to listen to the first group. Okay, the first group will be presenting by Ana Lorena, Carlos Ernesto, Edwin Antonio, Elias Nathalie, and Kevin Alfredo. You may start. Okay, Kevin, share the screen, please. Can, can you see all, all my screen? I can mm -hmm. see the arribita no cover. But we we will talk about the donuts from the Mr. Donuts and the promotion is two for ones. Uh, Mr. Donuts have a good promotion. All years on September, they have the same promotion and the people wait for this month. Uh, someone uh, wants uh, to talk about the, the promotion. Okay, me. Uh, they have a completely promotion in different channel. Uh, for example, they have advertising in the street, uh, on TV, on social media, uh, advertising in radio, uh, also in newspaper, because he they cover all the the channel of communication for this promotion. Uh, maybe other tell about the place. Um, uh, and for example, the, the places in the country. Uh, the promotion, uh, the, the form, the uh, advertising. Maybe uh, there are many. 24 hours service uh, to uh, there are um, billboards billboards at the app the restaurant uh, I I can see the far away the other place, for example, Platillo, eh, San Miguelito, eh, La Gran Vía. The other, for me, other attractive is in the, in the, the restaurant. Eh, there are, there are TVs. <laughs> there are what? There are TVs. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh huh. That's a plus. Uh huh. That's yeah. a plus. Okay, people, but you did a very good uh, presentation here with all the elements from this product. And this is a very common product in El Salvador. We everybody knows about it. So you define really well that this is a very complete a communication or a strategically promotional um, a strategies like a advertising in the street, on TV, on radio, by social media, right? It's not only Facebook, Instagram, but they have any other, whatever they want. I think they are, wherever you go and on the net, you're going to find this or not. And then, well, in the newspaper, but this is a very good uh, promotion, right? This is a very good promotion. And what about the pricing here? Did you think about the pricing? Pensaron ahí cuando estaban pensando en la, en la promotion y el place? Pensaron algo del pricing? Yes. Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. The price is... It's a uh, half, 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 
are the normal every, size of the other e month. Every year, every year they, uh huh. Uh, every year. They hide uh, the prices, right? Mm -hmm. Price. Every year it changes. It Ember. changes. Yes. Now we are paying one twenty five for the for the uh sencilla, not filled, la no rellena. <laughs> yeah. Okay, people. Bien. Los demás grupos se quedan para mañana. Okay. Así que todos alistando ahí su análisis, okay? Your analysis about the promotion and place. Acuérdense que esto es un mix, okay? This is a combination. And probably when you're analyzing, you have some, um, uh, let's say, thoughts about pricing and product, right? The relation with the place and the promotion. So you can mention about that. So please... Get uh, feel free to expand uh, your presentation to give your opinions. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. He he. I mean, Kevin shared something on the chat. Aha, por ahí les compartió Kevin la presentación. Miren. Ahí les compartió para el que la quiera tomar y eh, guardarla como modelo y como parte de sus notas. Thank you very much, Kevin. Okay, people, it's 10.03 and we want to uh, call the roll. So I will do it very quickly. Please say present when you hear your name, but turn on your video cams, please. Álvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. Eh, Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present teacher. Okay. Boris Alexander Cortés Cáceres. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Present teacher. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Elías Neftalí Martínez González. Present teacher. Sorry for, for my no participation today. Okay, okay, but please watch the video again if you need, all right? Uh, Ulise Torres Torres. Present. Okay. Fatima Noemi Umaña Castro. Jose Miguel Torres Hernández. Jose Present Salvador teacher. Bernal, uh, thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Ok, José Salvador, según la lista, a usted le toca ahora la, la sesión uno a uno. ¿Se va a querer quedar? Está bien, Ticha. Vaya, chévere, chévere, porque hay pupusitas de ayote. Ay, son bromas. Ok, Osman Atilio Serrano. Present, teacher. Ok, Karen Lizette Sánchez Castro. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present. Ok, ya está encargando las pupusitas de ayote, vea. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. Presentiche. Ok, Santiago Roberto Calderón Avelar. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Solo déjenme animarlos Present. a no faltar, ok. Déjenme animarlos, ok, thank you. Déjenme animarlos a no faltar a las clases, ¿verdad? Es muy importante para... Ustedes, como para mí, que estemos juntos en este proceso de enseñanza-aprendizaje, ¿ok? Así que para mí es un gran gusto que estén todos. Y a veces me pongo triste cuando pues no pueden estar todos, ¿verdad? Porque la idea es que todos juntos vayamos de la manita aprendiendo. Así que eh, los espero el día de mañana, ¿ok? Eh, nos vemos. Tengan una buena noche. Good Have a very good bye night, bye. everybody. Bye. Take care. Bye. Good night. Have a very good night. rest. Good night. Take care. See you.
All right, here we are, Jose Salvador. How are you tonight? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Okay, nice, nice. Um, can I assist you in anything? Do you have any question? Are you uh, interested in practicing something? I I need help in use to enough. Yeah, okay. The use of enough. Okay, we have three uses. Okay, but it's the same. Uh, it's the same meaning. Remember that when we talk mm -hmm. about quantities, amounts, we need like a quantifier. So enough works like a quantifier. It works like an adverb to modify mm -hmm. the action of the verb and also modifies the, let's say, necessary grade of the characteristic we are talking about. That's an adjective, right? It modifies an mm -hmm. adjective. But also, when we talk about amount, it's that we are counting the things, right? One cup, two cups, three cups, and I have enough cups for everybody, okay? For the, uh, I don't know, maybe the meeting, okay? That's when it's quantity, okay? So allow me to show you here the three ways or the three structures, okay? Mm -hmm. The three structures. First of all, enough is the right amount. It's the necessary amount, just what you need about something or of something. And um, let's say, let's say, and it has different structures. Puede ir a un lado, puede ir al otro lado, okay? Según la palabra que está modificando. Here it is modifying an adjective, okay? El adjetivo más enough quiere decir que está con esa característica lo, el grado suficiente, lo que se necesita de esa característica, ¿verdad? Entonces, mm -hmm. adjective plus enough means these fonts are, for example, these fonts are not long enough. Ah, aquí lo estamos usando en manera negativa, quiere decir que no es lo suficientemente largo. Needs more. Needs more. Cuando decimos not, es que no es. Okay? Aquí cuando decimos solo enough sin el not, ¿verdad? Entonces es la, la cantidad necesaria y lo que necesitamos. Just what we need. Pero cuando le ponemos el not... Estamos diciendo que no es la cantidad necesaria, que hace falta, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí sería less, less, menos, ¿verdad? De lo que necesitamos cuando le ponemos not. Pero cuando uh -huh. va afirmativo, es lo que necesitamos. That's what we need, ¿ok? Let's read the next example. See here, the couch is big enough. Ah, es el grado necesario de grande. ¿verdad? Uh, it's big enough, it's big enough for both of us. Cabemos los dos porque es lo suficientemente grande. ¿Ok? Como es un adverbio, estamos traduciéndolo como suficientemente. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Suficientemente, que estamos dando el grado de algo suficiente. O de algo insuficiente cuando le ponemos not. ¿Verdad? Bien. That app seems useful enough. Ah, pero todos son adjetivos porque son solo características, mire. Mm -hmm. Útil, ¿verdad? Esa aplicación se mira que es lo suficientemente útil. Useful enough. Entonces, cuando estamos hablando de una característica o de un adjetivo, de algo que califica el nombre... Mira, el nombre en este caso son los pantalones, el nombre en este caso es el sillón y en uh -huh. este caso es la aplicación. Y el adjetivo está describiendo este nombre, pero enough está 
dando el grado necesario de esta característica, ¿verdad? Porque es un adverbio y para eso uh -huh. sirve un adverbio. Bien, entonces, la estructura es adjective plus enough. Uh -huh. Lo mismo va a suceder cuando es una acción, ¿ok? Que hacemos lo suficiente, ¿sí? Una acción uh -huh. que hacemos lo suficiente o una acción que hacemos menos de lo que es necesario. Cuando uh -huh. le ponemos not, ¿verdad? Cuando uh -huh. es negativo... Yo creo que yo soy la que estaba dando el problema aquí, ¿verdad? Ay, sí. Cuando, está, cuando estamos hablando de una acción, when we talk about a verb, le ponemos, por ejemplo, acá, si es negativo, obviamente le hace falta de lo suficiente. Uh -huh. Entonces, leamos la oración. Dice, I play the piano, but I don't practice enough. No practico lo suficiente. Ah, entonces yo practico menos de lo que es necesario, ¿verdad? I think you've said enough. Ahí le estoy diciendo en afirmativo que basta, porque hasta ahí está lo necesario, ¿verdad? Entonces, I think you've said enough. Yo creo que ya has dicho lo suficiente, ¿sí? I think you've said enough. Vamos a ver en la siguiente. Don't include her. She's done enough. No la incluyas. Ella ya hizo lo suficiente. ¿verdad? Ella ha hecho, sería la, la traducción mm -hmm. exacta. Ella ha hecho lo suficiente. Entonces, para nosotros tenemos que ponerle lo suficientemente, pero en inglés solamente ponemos el verbo y, y la palabra enough. enough. Ponemos el adjetivo primero y la palabra enough. Ahora, uh -huh. ya cuando se trata de los nombres, ¿verdad? Ahí sí. Ahí sí va al revés. Porque como está hablando de cantidades, ya no de un grado necesario de una característica o de una acción. Entonces aquí ponemos primero enough y después ponemos el nombre. Porque estamos hablando de contables y no contables, ¿verdad? Estamos hablando de cosas que podemos contar. Por ejemplo, there aren't enough chairs. Como tengo un not, quiere decir que no son suficientes, ¿verdad? Me hacen falta más sillas. Entonces, no hay suficientes sillas, ¿verdad? ¿Para quién? Para todos, para sentarlos. ¿verdad? O para que se sienten. Entonces, enough con un nombre es cantidad, ¿verdad? Es una cantidad. Ahora, veamos acá, este también es negativo. Podemos usarlo con contables y podemos usarlo con incontables. Por ejemplo, mm -hmm. podemos usarlo con information. Information no es contable. Yo no puedo decir una información, dos informaciones, tres informaciones en inglés. Tal vez para nosotros en español al fin de cuentas se comprende. Pero eh, aquí en inglés no es correcto. ¿verdad? Information es information sin contar. Entonces, I don't have enough information to make a decision. Ah, no tengo suficiente información para tomar la decisión, ¿verdad? Entonces, enough information, estoy diciendo la cantidad necesaria de información. Puede ser que tenga información, pero no es la suficiente para tomar una decisión, ¿verdad? Eso lo diría un juez, ¿verdad? Si le hacen falta algunos elementos por ahí, no puede tomar la decisión y lo va a prolongar. Un gerente, ¿verdad? Igual. Usamos enough information. Vamos a ver. Do you have enough money to buy that motorcycle? Obviamente cuando vamos a comprar una cosa es dinero. Y el dinero es incontable, aunque podamos contar los billetes, monedas y todo eso, sí. Pero el nombre money es incontable. Pero con enough estamos diciendo que no tenemos la cantidad necesaria de dinero para comprar eh, la motocicleta, si dijéramos, I don't have, 
pero si la tenemos, vamos a responder. I have enough money to buy that motorcycle. ¿Ok? En este caso me están preguntando a mí, ¿verdad? Do you have enough money to buy that motorcycle? Y yo puedo decir, si lo tengo, puedo decir, I have. Yes, I do, right? I have enough money to buy that motorcycle. Pero si no, no, I don't. I don't have enough money to buy that motorcycle. Maybe I have less money. Ok, tengo menos dinero. Entonces, en ese caso sí, vamos a utilizar enough plus the noun. Ok, mm -hmm. vamos a ver. El ejercicio que teníamos el día de ayer, no sé si lo hizo, el día del viernes, no sé si, si lo hizo. Ese ejercicio, ¿no? Mm. Creo que no va. No lo pudo hacer, ¿verdad? O sea, no estaba conectado, creo. ¿O sí? No, es que parece que tuve... Me acuerdo qué me sucedió, pero una parte logré hacer. Una parte Ajá. solamente. Ok. Solo déjenme encontrarlo porque no lo encuentro el link para que lo hagamos. Y ahí pueda hacer... Eh, terminar de comprender el... A ver, déjeme llegar ahí porque ahí lo tenía, creo que abierto aquí. A ver. Mm. Ahorita se lo... Tengo el de of different pronunciations. A ver, permítame. Mm -hmm. Yo creo que por aquí lo vamos a ir. <laughs> no sé dónde lo puse. Ah, adjective. Plus enough. Ahorita le paso el link. Mm -hmm. Aquí lo vayamos a hacer. Ok. Ya le dio clic ahí, ya llegó. Sí, aquí está. Ok, so you scroll down y ahí va a encontrar number one. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. ¿Cuál sería la número uno? Fast enough. Yes. Number two. Enough, no, all enough. enough. Yes, correct, porque es un adjetivo, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ahora en la número tres, and number three. Mm, Mil enough. Ajá, como aquí es nombre, ¿verdad? El, es un nombre ah. de una cosa, tendría que ser enough ah, del, mil. Ah, ah es nombre. Exacto, es un, es no, un objeto, mil. ¿verdad? Una cosa. Uh -huh. Y es incontable porque es líquida, ¿verdad? Sí, uh -huh. no me había fijado, yo pensé, estaba viendo el verbo, ¿no? no ah, ok, ok. No el nombre. Uh -huh. Let's see number, number four. Prudent enough? Yes, because it's an adjective. Very good. Stupid enough? Yes. Number six? Mm. 
warm enough. Yes. Number seven. Man enough. Es nombre y es incontable. Ah, nombre, nombre. Uh -huh. Sí, enough it's a nombre. noun. Very good. Uh -huh. Number eight. Nombre para antes. Enough of mold. El nombre va antes. La, la característica va antes. Uh, ok, la característica va antes y después va enough. Small enough. Sería Exactamente. Característica serían los adjetivos. Sí. sí, sí. Uh -huh. Number nine. Enough chairs, ¿será? Uh -huh. Cabal, porque son cosas, ¿verdad? Que contamos, entonces son, es un nombre. It's a noun. Uh -huh. Enough the... blue. Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. Enough blue paint. Blue paint iría blue paint. junto, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. enough blue paint. Bien, leamos entonces las oraciones de abajo. Ahí ya están ya las respuestas y ya están solo de leer. Veamos. Uh -huh. A ver, lea usted. Vamos. Número uno. I, I didn't run fast enough to catch the bus. Number two. She is old enough to know better. better. Uh -huh. Number three. We have both enough milk number four yeah. she was prudent enough to lock the car very good number five he was stupid enough to trust her says is it war enough for you mm -hmm. number seven how we have enough money by buying the ticket do it Number eight, many tablet computers are small enough to fit in your pocket. Good. Number nine, we haven't got enough chair. Mm -hmm. Number ten, we haven't got enough blue paint. Very good. Entonces, ahí en bot es bot, 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 bot. But. Sí, sí. ¿Cómo se ah. escribiría, digámoslo, para pronunciar? Eh, sería, no, sería como que dijéramos B, A, T. Pero esa A tiene ah. que ser cerrando así como un, digamos, como guacalito la, la lengua y la, y la boca. But. Ajá. But. 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 Uh -huh. But. Yes. Ajá. Así, cabal. Like that. Y teníamos otra, ¿verdad? Uh, bueno, no, solo va enough. Y de ahí, but. Eso es todo, sí. but. Uh -huh. Y ahí está. Ok, ¿es it better now? Sí, mucho mejor. Voy okay. a repasarlo para que se me queden bien, que me confunden. Yes. Y la pronunciación es otro, otro rollo también, porque en la pronunciación va a encontrar un montón de palabras que tienen siempre o u g h right o u g h y suenan totalmente diferente entonces tal vez mañana vamos a repetir el ejercicio de la lectura para para practicar eso esas pronunciaciones hoy muy bien, muy bien ya esa. con todos Ok. very good José Salvador muchas gracias Then, por su tiempo y su ayuda no problem no problem then see you tomorrow See you tomorrow. Have a very good night. Amen. Bye.